Hi folks, Puffin here with a message about dreams. I had this conversation a few nights ago in which one person said, I'm going to sleep. I forget who was who, but one of us said, I'm going to sleep. And the other one said, no, I'm going to sleep. We can both go to sleep. Like, it wasn't like we're watchmen on a watch or something where only one of us could go to sleep and we had to take turns. We could both go to sleep, which made me think, just that's the way the conversation went, which made me think, Dreams aren't a one-car garage. Dreams aren't space for one person. Dreams are space for everyone. Like, literally half the world is dreaming at the same time, at any given time. All dreaming together, all in the dream world. And this is true, of course, for the dream world, but it's also things uh, true for things like the American dream or dreams that people have, collective dreams that we have, when they're really good dreams, there's enough space for everyone. Dreams are not a one-car garage. You can all be there. If your dream is something that only you can have, if your dream is, it's not really a dream, it's kind of an anti-dream. So when I say the American dream is open for everyone, room enough for everyone, not just for America. The American dream, the real American dream, is to set an example that other countries can follow too, so that all countries can have the American dream or have live the dream. So it's not that just America can be there, it's that all countries can be there. So you can see how this is exactly the opposite of certain ideologies or misdeals as I call them. They're not ideals, they're misdeals that are telling people, you know, only you can have this. There's only enough space for you to have that. That's not true in a real dream and making a real dream come true, like a dream house that you actually get to live in, it comes true because it is what the dream said it would be, meaning there's enough for everyone. And that's the dream world, and that's what real good dreams are about, about making more for everyone to share. Thanks for watching. Thanks for socializing. Socialism will save America. And AOC 24. I guess we're going to elect AOC to primary Biden and replace Biden in 24. Um, unless Bernie runs again, then in which case, of course, we'll elect Bernie. But thanks for watching and uh, sharing. And let's get this done. Hashtag pillow revolution. We can take over the world from all the bad guys and we can do it from bed. If we can't do it from bed, we're working too hard. Thanks for watching. See you soon.